the Windows user guide to Linux number five, Windows versus Linux. Oh boy, here we go. All right, welcome back. Well, this topic has been the subject, the source of uh, much consternation, not just for the community, but for this channel. It's probably the number one reason, well, one of the reasons why this channel has probably lost as many subscribers as it has gained. Not that unusual, but as we say in New York, if something doesn't work, hey, forget about it. However, Linux can work for you. How, you may ask? Well, let's take a look at a few things that I wrote down. If you are not a gamer, if you are not a professional singer, if you are not a professional filmmaker, if you don't need specific professional Mac or Windows software, if you don't mind sometimes solving puzzles such as bugs, as in sometimes you may have to type in some terminal commands, sometimes, if you don't mind that, then Linux is definitely for you. If all you want to do is browse the web, play some music, a few videos, even a few games, absolutely Linux is for you. Now, from what I can gather, the best Linux experience so far for the consumer, at least on a laptop, is the Google Pixelbook. This machine has been described as flawless. The Pixelbook will run Chrome OS, Android apps, and now in beta, Linux apps. Three for one. Awesome. However, it is not a cheap machine. If you're on a budget, I strongly recommend ThinkPads. As you can see, I have a few myself, and so far I've had very, very good luck running specific forms of Linux distributions, such as Linux Mint, Ubuntu Mate, and a few others. I'll have some links below in the show notes. And to be perfectly honest, that's it for this one, number five in the Windows User Guide to Linux. Those are my thoughts. If you haven't already, take a look at the previous four videos in this video series for beginners. I've been using Linux since 2006. I still use Windows, but not as much. I'm probably using Linux 80% now, 20% Windows. So let me know if you try a form of Linux and whether it works out for you or not. All right, that concludes this video. We are fast approaching the end of this year. Thank you for another year, over eight years of this Total OS Today technology channel. Look, we've done many, many, many live events over the course of, of a year of this year. It's been absolutely so much fun. That's it. If I don't talk or see you guys again, please have a safe and happy holiday season. And I'll catch you in 2019. Arrivederci.